Hi, I'm Phil Bedford and welcome to the Rebel Networker. Show. We're going to be showing you how you can get over 300% more results from every conversation while you're networking. And if you're a shy networker, we're going to be showing you a great strategy on how you can become more comfortable at every networking event. Coming up on The Rebel Networker. The challenge is for a lot of people is when they go networking, they're actually not networking at all. Really, they're selling. And when everybody is selling in a networking environment, nobody's buying. Now let's just assume for one minute that these statistics come from sales. If you walk into a room with a hundred people in that room, and let's just imagine for one minute, every single one of those people was in the market to buy from you. They, want, they potentially wanted what you were selling. Sales statistics say that of a hundred people, on that first occasion, only 2% would buy from you. So if you are going to try and sell to 100 people, only 2% will actually buy. What are the other 98% of the people thinking that you've tried to sell to? Well, if you've ever been at a networking event where people are selling at you, it's, it's like this. It's almost like they're launching on you. They're, tr they're, they're trying to sell to you and you're like, ah, help me get away. So you actually end up damaging your relationship and your brand. So in the process of getting 2% of sales, you're actually potentially ruining your reputation with 98% of the people. So we're actually going to start to change this dynamic now. So instead of selling and annoying people, you can actually start to maximize your time while you're networking. And now on Ask Dr. Phil, I have a question from Jude in Dubai. Jude's into performance management measurement. And he says to me, Phil, I'm a nervous networker. What tips have you got that can help me maximize my networking and be more comfortable while I'm there? Number one tip, Jude, would actually be to partner up. To attend networking events with a referral partner or somebody who you may share clients with attend the event together and actually, number one, promote each other's business, but secondly, you'll have somebody to keep you company and you'll be less nervous. Secondly, actually act more like a host at the event rather than a guest. Try and help other people to find where the coffee is, welcome them, ask them where they'd heard about the event from and what they doing. So be a host, not a guest, because there's other nervous people out there. And number three is arrive early. If you're one of the first people in the room, there's less people there, you're likely to be more comfortable, and then as people come, you're already there. If too many people arrive, you can leave. Okay, so there's this week's show. In next week's show, we'll be showing you how you can maximize your time in your network so you become seen as the go-to guy or girl in your network. So tune in next week on The Rebel Networker. Thank you.